there, it's Roseanne here from Country Chic Paint. Today I'm going to go over some of the frequently asked questions about creating an antique finish on high traffic pieces like tabletop and kitchen cabinets. Keep watching to find out which products are best to use for this kind of project and which you should avoid. We have two kinds of products in the Country Chic Paint line that will give your piece an aged antique look. Glazes and our antiquing wax. Each product will give a similar but unique effect. The application process is also different and in some cases it's definitely better to choose one over the other. For high traffic projects, we always recommend sealing your piece with our tough coat because it's extremely durable and can be cleaned easily. Since wax is an oily product and tough coat is water based, you cannot apply tough coat on top of the wax. This is why for projects like tabletops and kitchen cabinets, we recommend using our glaze instead. That way you can still give it that antique look, but since our glazes are water based, you can afterwards seal it with tough coat for long lasting protection. This cabinet door was painted with two coats of vanilla frosting and I'm going to apply our smoky quartz glaze on top to show you how to age your kitchen cabinets. You want to make sure that you give your last paint coat at least 24 hours to cure before glazing it. Before you open your jar, give it a good shake. Now you can open it up and stir it with a stir stick. You want to make sure it's all mixed well together. Simply brush the glaze on, filling every nook and cranny. Keep in mind that the glaze dries quite quickly, so you'll want to work in small areas at a time. Doing one cabinet door at a time is a good idea. Now I'm going to use my lint-free rag to wipe off the excess glaze. You can remove as much or as little of the glaze as you'd like until you're happy with the depth of the color. There's really no right or wrong here, so just play around with it until you like the look. Now that you've antiqued your cabinet door, you can use tough coat to protect your finish. You do want to make sure to let your project dry for at least 24 hours and don't forget if you've used any kind of wax or oil based product you should not be sealing it with tough coat. That's why for cabinets we recommend our water based glaze instead of antiquing wax. So that's all there is to it. I hope this has helped answer some of your questions about the differences between wax and glaze for antiquing. To find out how to finish this project with tough coat you can watch our tough coat application video by clicking the link in the description below. If you liked this video, please leave us a comment and click the like button. We also encourage you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. To find out more about our products and where you can buy them, click the website link on your screen now or in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting.